I, I was considering also just doing like the cold outreach with the emails and, um, you know, uh, direct messaging people on Instagram and all that, man, dude, I, I will, I will bang out like 20, 30 a day if I have to. Mm -hmm. Um, but just to kind of get like a, in the right direction, do you think that's worth my time? Um, yes. To, so do you, well, I mean, do you have anyone to help you out? Uh, I did. I used to have um, some people in the Philippines um, and I had like a bootleg version of it where I would have them go into Crunchbase and then, you know, sift through prospects that way that had like X amount invested into their business. And I'd reach out to them. I was using Soapbox, which is the Wistia equivalent of Loom. Mm -hmm. And uh, my deliverability, I found out later was horrible. But I mean, I made and I, I definitely spent too long. I probably made like 10 minute 15 minute videos to these people. And at the yeah. end I did try to sell them as opposed to just like, Hey, here you go. Like yeah. hit me up if you are you know, open in the future. Um, and so, but I made 30 of them, man, it, it was just like an eight hour day of just shooting 30 videos. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Like what, what I'm really pushing now and I'm working, I actually just wrote it down because it reminded me to finish this training this week um, or next week is what we're doing. I just posted a video on my YouTube channel yesterday. You should check it out. Just kind of how we're doing like one-to-one -one outreach to yeah. me it's so much better when you're focused on like 10 people that you know are really good clients as opposed to like a hundred or a thousand. That's the problem to me is that we use these tools and they're actually doing us somewhat of a disservice. Um, whereas like, if you think about it, <laughs> like there's so many similarities between business, life, relationships, everything, advertising and sales, they're all the same, right? I mean, the point is, is that if we take a much more one-to-one -one direct approach and people know that we're talking to them, then, and we're helping them solve specific things. Like people don't want to be overwhelmed. If you're sending an email to someone, it's like, I get pitched all the time and I should respond to a lot of them because people take their time to write me the right email, you know? Yeah. Um, and if you're writing me an email or you send me an Instagram DM or a Twitter DM, like shit that people see that they know, like you can't really spam through Instagram DM or Twitter DM. You just, you just can't. If you're taking the time to be like, yo, Ryan, like, um, you know, went through your website, I, I don't know, like, or like, Hey, just like dropped you a link from my website. Hopefully it helps you out. Let me know like little stuff like that to just open up and build a relationship. You know, I've done that plenty of times. Like when we launched the blueprint, I remember I was dropping links to people like crazy and I was emailing them like a month before just being like, Hey, just want to let you know, dropped you a link from this guide. Hopefully it's send you some traffic, like peace, you know, that was it. Yeah. And then a month later I would be like, Hey, following up on the same thread if they responded. So I wasn't saying, so they could see the context of that link from the month before. They're like, hey, we just dropped this report. Um, would you mind tweeting it out? <laughs> and like, everyone was like, yeah, of course, not a problem, you know? So um, just little things like that. If you just, again, think about things like building a relationship with someone and like breaking the ice with someone that's not like a, ten again, like people don't wanna watch 10 minute video. Same thing, yeah. like, like this kid yesterday kept trying to call me and then he was sending me voice notes and I was like, sending me a voice note saves you time. It doesn't save me time though, you know, like, yeah. because you don't have to type, but I have to fucking sit here and listen to it, you know? So yeah. again, always putting yourself in the shoes of the person on the other side, like what's best for them? Like what is best for them that's gonna help them and then open up some sort of dialogue and conversation. This is a long-term thing, especially if we're talking about selling five, 10, 15, $20,000 contracts. It's not, no, it's not a one click and done thing. Like there's processes, there's approvals, there's proposals, there's stuff that needs to go into it. So if you rush into the sale on the first time, as opposed to just being like, sending them something helpful, again, I like in the training, I talk about finding one thing, all you need to do is find one little thing. And so if you just like email or, or message, like just one, hey, I found this mistake, and it's on this URL, like if you go and fix it, that's an opportunity that you can, you know, grow, yeah. you know, your traffic with just that one opportunity. Yeah, um, just, yeah, I, no I, video, though. Or, or should I still so do that's, so that's, so that's a, video? Exactly. That's the thing. If, if you're, if you're pressed for time, don't do video and use a VA, you know, just to like kind of throw some feelers out there. But again, like don't use email outreach software because you hit deliverability issues. Um, send an email from your Gmail, from your personal email, whatever you're using. And you can have, like I have my VA doing it now. He's sending out outreach emails for capturing a bird, our WordPress plugin for, for YouTube influencers. Um, you know, when I'm just managing him via Slack and he's sending like five to 10 a day. And then I'm also kind of helping out with the responses, this and that, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, or you could do it. Like what I'm putting into the training is like for the first hour of your day for two weeks, just do one or two, right? That's it. Yeah. You know, instead of taking the whole day to do it, like just section it off. One, get up. one or two videos is what you mean. One, yeah. Like one or two, like spend time prospecting for that person, like getting to another website, getting to know something like 
dude, that's the thing too, is that if you spend, if you spend less time trying to find a million people and more time trying to find 10 people and then really finding out what that person wants and focus on maximizing your email responses from 10 people, as opposed to sending a hundred emails then, or a thousand emails, whatever these platforms will do for you, your response rates are going to go up, you know, like, and that, that's the thing what I'm putting in the sales training too, is that like, it's not about generating a million leads. It's about getting the right leads. Like if you get a lead and they're qualified, you want to close them. It's so it's not necessarily about getting more. It's about getting to know what that person needs from an SEO campaign and pitching them the right thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's the same thing with generating leads from, from a cold point of view. Like, you know how much time it takes. You don't want to spend eight hours a day for four weeks trying to like drum up all this random stuff. Like you want to really make sure that you're focused on finding and contacting the right people. And if you do put in the time to, again, like really understand what it is that they need just based on your assessment or based on what they're posting, you can look at what they're tweeting, you know, um, yeah. and find some things like we're doing it for our other company. Now, the one that David runs, um, and we're just kind of like combing Twitter. He's, he joins email lists from people and he like kind of sees what they're pushing out. And then he'll just respond to those email lists with like helpful advice to them. You know, yeah. um, there's a dude who's on my YouTube channel who comments on every video that I post. Um, <laughs> and he's just like giving his insight and like, it's annoying sometimes, but it's also like, I wouldn't do it the way he's doing it, but it's also like, he's helping me by commenting on my videos. I know that, you know, so it's little things like that, like liking people's posts, commenting, just showing love. And these are the things that people don't do, even though we're already on, like you're already on Instagram, just follow that person and comment on all their shit. You know, yeah. um, it's, it's little things, you know, like really make that person feel like you want to work with them. And that's what selling is. Selling to me is that like, if you're confident in your product and service, you know that it can help people. It's about selling that to the person, not necessarily selling them the SEO service. You're selling them the fact that you can help them. Right. And you do yeah. that by building the relationship and then getting them susceptible uh, to, to what you have to say, you know? Yeah. Um, so I mean, that, that's my advice on that. Like cold outreach, it hundred percent works. It's just, it just gets spammed to death, but it's the same thing as like meeting somebody in person and this and that it's, it's all inner, it's all related, you know? But so you're just to clarify. So you're saying like a, a minute or two video and then in the email, just be, Hey, just want to throw this, you know, this is a mistake or not mistake opportunity I found. And I shot a quick minute, two minute video. Like, yeah, I, I like video no sale pitch. Just like, there you no, go. None at all. Like, none at welcome. all. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, so, so basically what I like to do is, I mean, so who do you work with as clients? Who's your target? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, it's very broad at this point. And it's just okay. because I don't have, I, I had someone in the Philippines that like designed my website. Um, and it's just like a big mess now with all the CSS That's stuff fine. that I can't I mean, do. So I didn't want to niche down just because not a problem. It doesn't have to be on your website. You know, um, it could just be what you, what you say people, what you tell people. Yeah. Okay. Um, so like I've been focusing a little bit kind of on like, personality brands like myself, but in other spaces, cause they always have shitty SEO and I know they make money. Um, yeah. so I've been using Instagram cause I've been working on building an Instagram presence for myself to just kind of follow these people, comment on their stuff and send them DMS over time, supporting them. And then basically I have a video up on the training platform that you can look at. Um, there's a couple of cold video pitches that I have up there. Um, but after I've gotten a response, I'll usually shoot like a three to five minute video that just walks them through the things. And the way that I format it is I tell them, I'm like, you know, like, yes, we offer services, but like, this is free advice. Like give this to your team, let them handle it. And then the, my call to action there is I'm happy to jump on a 15 minute call with your team to walk them through this. So they know how to execute this. You know, that to yeah. me is key is to be like, Hey, information is cheap. Execution is everything. You know, should, should we, um, should I go for like uh, emailing people, give like a little bit of a tip, like, Hey, this is a mistake or an opportunity. Right. Um, very short email. And then the people that's, um, and it's like, uh, I shot like a quick two minute, three minute video or whatever, and then wait for people to give the thumbs up and then go ahead and shoot the video and only spend time making videos for people that actually replied positively. Or yeah. So, so sorry. I, I, I should have, I should have, I, I, I got sidetracked on my initial thought. So I like to use video for two reasons. Number one is because it's quicker for me. Like I'm dyslexic, so I don't type and, and read well. I can get, I can talk shit nonstop. So for me to just like see a website, hit loom real quick record a 60 second video to be like, yo, like your title tags are really bad or like your images or like there's issues with your dev. Um, you know, like send it my way. I can take care of it for you, you know, and then just yeah. email that to them. It's easier for me. Also too, is that I just know how impactful it is to see someone's face. Um, like if we were sitting here talking to each other and there's just little icons, it's much, there's much less of a connection than if we're actually sitting here looking at each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That little bit getting out from behind email to me and like showing your face really helps. And there's also no denying that it's, personal, 
you know, like when you film a video on someone's website, talking to them, like I've seen people try to do this, which I think is bullshit where they'll, they'll, they'll film one video and then send it to people cold and pretend like oh, it's a custom man. video. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's like, you don't want to do those types of things. So if it's going to be video, it has to be very personal to that website, but it takes 60 seconds to do it. You know, like once you identify, so what we're doing is we're using a VA to, to identify those one things, build me a list. And then this is what I'm gonna put in the training is then I'll just spend one hour that day filming 10 videos. So that takes 20 minutes of my time, you know? Yeah. Um, and then you, 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 um, do like that 60 second video and then the people that reply positively, do you make another video is what you just mentioned or no. So what, what I'll do then is, is it, again, these are things that you need to test, test out with. You can, it, it, it depends on your time. It depends on your resources. Again, I've got like a really good kind of process with my offshore team now that can handle a lot of this for me. So what I'm trying to get it to is the point where they build me a spreadsheet with the, the issue, the website, the point of contact, I just open up the link find that issue, record the video. So they'd be like, Hey Dan, just on your website, blah, blah, blah. And then drop the loom link in there and then just let my VA send that via email. You know, um, that is like, I'm all about scaling my time. That's how my time scales really well. Um, the other thing is <clears throat> the other, so sorry that after that too, I won't do another video after that. Um, after that, if they respond positively, then I'm driving them for a phone call. Okay. And again, it's not a just sales to an appointment page or something. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, Hey, look at like, I know this is complicated. Like, why don't we jump on a call and I can walk your team through. I don't even like, again, like I'm, I know who I'm pitching. I'm not going after the business owner. I'm going after the people with marketing teams and yeah. people who are pitching me, like make the mistake of being like, Hey, let me talk to you. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. Like you can talk to my team, but I don't want to talk to you. You know, um, you're only talking to me if you pay me, that's, that's the only way you're talking to me. So um, so for that, I, I just kind of like understand that. And again, knowing myself, I say that to them too. I'm like, yo, you don't have to do anything. Like I will talk to your team. You don't even have to be there. And I know that if I get on a call with their team, I'm going to blow their fucking hair back and they're going to go to them and be like, we should probably hire this guy, you know? Yeah. Um, and so you, and that's, that's for your actual SEO services, not the blueprint. Like you, you'll target SEO, you'll target marketing managers to sell your SEO services. That's exactly. your main. Cause I was, that's what I was trying to like, understand, like, should I go to the business owner or should I go to the marketing man? Well, that, that's why I asked, right? That's why I asked is that you, what it's good to get on the radar of the business owner through like Instagram DM, stuff like that, because they're the decision maker. Right. So I like to break the ice with like the owner and I'm not going after like target.com. I'm talking about like, you know, 1 million to $10 million businesses, right. Where the owner is usually like the face of it, got like a personality brand, that type of stuff. They're yeah. easy for me to target and find super easy, especially on Instagram. Right. Um, so basically for them, I break the ice with them and then get their, get their permission to talk to their team. Right. Yeah. Because that business owner will then tell his team like, yo, like take the call with this guy, you know? And then the team is like, okay, yeah, for sure. And then they take me seriously, you know? Whereas if I yeah. go, if you go, if you start with the team, then they have to sell you to the business owner, which can be a pain in the ass. Uh, okay. So still target the business owner. Yes. Uh, but, but don't I'm, try to sell them just like, Hey, oh, and that's your hook where you say, Hey, I'd be happy to talk to your team exactly. and I can go ahead and help explain it more so that they can understand how exactly. to fix it. Exactly. Oh. It's, it's, yeah. It's really important. Imagine if someone oh, came to you had it, if you had a team or a VA and I was like, yo, like your graphic designs on your videos are really bad. Like, why don't you just send me the contact info of your graphic designer and I'll tell them how to fix it. You're gonna be like, hell yeah. You know? Yeah. And then afterwards, yeah. you're you can, That's you're, super valuable. Yeah, dude. You're going to go to your graphic designer and be like, yo, how was that called? They're going to be like, it was awesome. And you're going to be like, okay. And then I'll follow up with you and be like, Hey, look, I just want to let you know, like I can provide you consulting services for two fifty a month to help your graphic designer. Something, something like that. Right. That's a bad example, but you get the point. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, same thing with SEO. That's why I'm also knowingly going after people who don't have an SEO presence. Um, you know, and I'm selling them on the fact I'm like, yo, you're spending a million a month on advertising. I see you on Facebook all the time, but like you're giving up free traffic over here you've got a team. You don't need to hire anyone. You don't really need to spend anything else. Like, let me just talk to them and I can tell them how, like how to fix your content. And that's what I usually go after with them too. It's not the technical things that they can't grasp. It's being like, you're creating all this content for Facebook. Like some very small tweaks will get you free traffic from Google. Like, do you want me to tell, them, tell you how to do that? You yeah. know, like, what are you gonna be like? No. <laughs> right. you know? So it's so like you, again, like you have to understand what strings to pull with. That's why I asked about who you're, who you're targeting. It's not because you have to have your website geared towards them. My website is generic too. But yeah. like, if I'm speaking to you, I'm like, I, it's easy for me too. Cause I'm like, I have a training platform. I'm a personality brand, just like yourself. I understand the whole ecosystem, especially search. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm building my platform on is SEO, right? I have a book now, I have a training course, blah, 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 all this stuff. Right. So yeah. as you grow, 
And again, this is why it's important to go through the blueprint training too, where I talk about this stuff because people think that, I mean, like building a reputation isn't overnight, but you have to be constantly stacking logs on that fire, you know, like constantly thinking about ways that you can build your reputation because that's, what's going to make these conversations a lot easier. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so like all these things, it's just, it's, it's important to know who you're like, who you want to work with. And within that framework of who you want to work with, like who is it you need to talk to, who's making the decisions, what is their context of what you're selling to them? You know, all the, do they, are they currently working with an agency? Are they never work? like all these things you want to be, you want to be conscious of. Yeah. Okay. And this, this is the difference between like literally from cold outreach, not working to working every single time, you know, like the, the, when I go through this, I've worked with some really good personality brands now and just consulting. I'm not even interested in selling major services. I'm just getting a couple extra thousand bucks a month for consulting. Yeah. Um, but like, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Like it's really not a good success rate. Just like doing what really good success rate, man. Like, and I've only done this like five times. Like we're about to scale this up for David's company. So we were going to originally do this for the blueprint, but then I realized like pretty quickly that people were not interested in getting pitched a training platform. They just weren't like, even though we've got like some really awesome stuff, this is just something that people have to come to terms with on their self that this is valuable. Right. Um, whereas an agency, it's, it's people, people know that they need SEO now. And like, if you can give them the right pitch, then it's different. And same thing with David's company. Like the reason why I'm so hot on coding is for losers is because he does something that really nobody else in the market does. So like from a cold outreach point of view, it's actually harder to advertise David's company because it's requires a lot more explaining. It's a little bit more technical, this and that. But when I send someone an email and I'm like, Hey, look at, I noticed that on your website, like you built this, this tool, which is dope. Like that probably costs you a lot of time and money, but like we're doing the same thing for 2000 bucks in a week. Like here's an example of a dashboard we just built, you know, like yeah. super, super easy. You know what I mean? Um, so again, like understanding what company you're working with and same with capture and convert too. Like I'm selling a commodity now, like capture and convert. I love it to death, but like, it's not things special. You know, it's a free WordPress plugin that has an upgrade option on it, you know, that you're probably yeah. already using in some form or another. So how is yeah. it that I can communicate the value of this and break through to people who don't have any, like it's just asking yourself the same questions, but ultimately whatever business that you're working on is going to end up in a, um, you know, a, a, di- a different place just depending on which one it is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyways, man, I'm sorry. I got to jump. Um, no, man. Hey, thank you so much. Um, I yeah. really appreciate all the training and I, I love everything that you've done. And, um, thanks for hopping on, man. And answering these questions. It was really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Brother. Um, if you have any more questions for me, just hit me up on Slack. Cool. You have a good day. Thanks, Michael.